Sarah, I know you're down there in Texas, so you are probably not aware that Chicago is an absolute hot mess. Um, and <laughs> I've heard. But what you probably didn't fully appreciate is that it's it's the Republicans' fault. Let me play you a quick clip from what the mayor of Chicago. Well, there has to be better coordination. You know, what we've seen is a very raggedy form um, instituted by right wing extremism. extremism. Um, everyone knows that the right wing extremism in this country has targeted democratically ran cities. And quite frankly, uh, they've been very intentional about going after democratically ran cities that are led by people of color. And their whole motivation is to create disruption and chaos because that's what this that particular party has been about. Right? This is the same political party that did not want to accept that President Obama was actually an American. It's the same Republican right-wing extremism that stormed the Capitol. It's the same right-wing extremism that refuses to accept the results of the Civil War. It's raggedy. It's disrespectful. It's mean-spirited. It's an unclean spirit, quite frankly. All right, so let's just be clear. The right-wing Republicans are, quote, targeting Democratic-run cities by people of color, and they include to refuse accepting the results of the Civil War. Quote, that's what we're facing. See, the problems of Chicago, I thought these big cities that have been controlled by the left and Democrats for decades were actually their fault. But I've now come to realize that it is all of the people who refuse to accept the results of the Civil War on the right that are causing the ills of the people of Chicago. And it is us on the right that need to fix it and stop complaining about how Democrats and the left are running these cities. I, I'm, I, did you find this as enlightening as I did? I had no idea that white people had that much power. I mean, the, the amount of power you guys hold as white men, I think is just incredible. You have the power of making Chicago a, a good city or a bad city. That's just amazing to me. Um, you know, I find it fascinating that, look, I think this is Brandon Johnson overplaying his hand. They're using this for everything. It's going to blow up in their face, especially when they have their own community members going to city council meetings and telling them, you need to stop bringing all of these illegal immigrants in. You need to, we don't want to be a sanctuary city. They're taking away our resources. They're, uh, overrunning our schools. We can't get our kids in schools. We're paying for it in our taxes. I mean, these people know who are to blame. So I think that it's hilarious that they try to, to use this race card all the time. I just don't think the actual members of the community are going to fall for it this time because they're seeing it right in front of their very eyes. And they understand that these are citywide policies, of course. I, and, and Larry, I think that Sarah's got a point, but it's to me, what's fascinating is all of these cities, right? Eric Adams, we talked about him just a moment ago in New York. He's talking about how his city's overrun with, with illegal immigrants, people that are coming in there that he, by the way, welcomed not too long ago, but crime is through the roof there. We talk about Chicago, them blaming this. Now, you and I both uh, live in the, in the, just, you know, the, the, the capital region. We're an FBI agent yesterday, an FBI agent in an FBI car was carjacked. That's yep. how bad carjacking is in the District of Columbia, that an FBI agent gets carjacked. And yet, again, this gets back to kind of what I was bringing up with Tim. There's no discussion about who's running these cities, yep. right? This, if, I keep laughing, like if this was a Republican, we'd be hearing about how Republicans aren't doing a good job and da, da, da. And yet here we are, Every one of these major cities run by Republicans facing the same threats, illegal immigrants overcoming them, crime on the rise, carjacking, whatever. And yet we're not having a real discussion about who's in charge and the policies continue to have a common thread, which is they're all leftist. Well, I hate to fact check you all in real time here, but if you haven't been paying attention, let me remind you that Chicago is, in fact, MAGA country. <laughs> Everybody knows. I it. do remember. I do remember Jesse Smollett saying something about that. He can't walk the streets Wait, alone at two in the morning with a subway sandwich without getting, uh, you know, uh, gay bashed by a bunch of right wing MAGA hat wearing. What? Oh, was that a hoax? I, yeah. I'm sorry. Forget that. Okay, you're right. Uh, yeah, Sean. Uh, other than eight glorious years of Rudy Giuliani in New York and eight glorious years of Richard Reardon in Los Angeles in the mid '90s. Every single major city, Chicago, New York, Detroit, San Francisco, Los Angeles, Washington, D.C., Baltimore, even Cleveland, if you want to call it a major city, 
All of those cities have been dominated by Democrats for over 50 years. Not one Republican elected official has any power or any say in anything that goes on in those cities. You can call those cities Democrat utopias. And yet they're complete garbage piles. I'm sorry, they are. And it's because of Democrat policies. They've been able to have carte blanche, and now we're seeing it. And, and the only the only excuse they have is to somehow point to Republicans thousands of miles away and say that they're the ones to blame. Nobody's buying it. Literally nobody. But Tim, when you guys look at the, the news on this, you never hear like that moniker. It's, it's Mayor Eric Adams. It's Mayor Muriel Bowser. It's not Democrat. Like they don't ascribe the same moniker and labels to the left who are running these things. And, and I just, I find it fascinating. It's almost like they don't want people to know who's actually running these places in terms of what party and what ideology. Well, they definitely want to do just what Mayor Johnson's doing. Whereas if we have a problem with illegal immigration in this country, it's not Biden's fault. It's not the Democrats' fault anywhere. It's somehow the fault of Greg Abbott and Ron DeSantis sending illegal immigrants northward <laughs> uh, like it's a prank. And it, especially after these people, yeah, proclaim themselves sanctuary cities. Uh, yeah, the news media is not going to say, well, didn't they just get what they asked for? They're not going <laughs> to do that because these are the ways that, you know, the news media is a pile of Democrats. Uh, and yeah, there's no accountability for these big city mayors. And one of the reasons is obviously these big city electorates. You right. know, other than Giuliani or Reardon, these big city electorates just keep reelecting it. You went from one bad mayor of Chicago to the next. This one's more radical than the last one. 